Your body has two ways of sending messages from one organ to another. If a message needs to be long-lasting, hormones are released into the blood. For example, insulin being released by the pancreas that has an effect on the liver. Sometimes, however, we need to send messages much faster through the body. This could be for survival, to react to a potential danger, for example. The fast message system that your body has is your nervous system. Start by looking at the basic nerve pathway. A stimulus is something that your body reacts to. The example we're going to look at is a runner responding to the gun at the start of a race. In this case, the stimulus is the sound of a gun. The receptor is the part of the body that detects this stimulus. In our example, the ears. Other receptors include touch sensors in the skin, the eyes, nose, taste buds and so on. The receptor sends a message along a sensory neuron towards the central nervous system. The central nervous system, or CNS, is the brain and the spinal cord. The CNS processes this message, passing it along different relay neurons, before sending a new message through a motor neuron towards an effector. The effector is the part of the body that's going to do something in response to the stimulus. In our example, it's the muscles in the runner's legs. In that pathway, there were three different types of nerve cell mentioned. Each of these has a slightly different structure based on the specific function. Sensory neurons carry messages from receptors to the central nervous system. Relay neurons are found in the brain and spinal cord, whilst motor neurons carry messages from the central nervous system to effectors. This diagram shows the structure of a neuron. Remember that a neuron is an individual nerve cell. It has many different branches called dendrites in order to connect to other neurons. The nucleus is found in the cell body. There's a single long axon which is insulated by a myelin sheath. This myelin sheath insulates the axon and increases the speed that the message is passing along the axon. The message itself is called an impulse, which is a small bit of electricity passing the neuron. We have seen the many branched dendrites on the neuron allow it to connect to many other neurons. Where one neuron connects to another, we find a synapse. This is a small gap between the two cells. The electrical impulse cannot cross the gap, so we need another way of passing the message on. This is what happens. The impulse reaches the end of the neuron. Small capsules of a chemical called a neurotransmitter are released into the gap. The neurotransmitter diffuses across the gap until it binds to special receptor sites on the next neuron. When the neurotransmitter binds to these receptors, a new impulse starts in the next neuron and travels through that cell. This stage is much slower than the speed at which the impulse travels, so to speed up reaction times, the axons of neurons are very long, which reduces the number of synapses needed to pass information from one part of the body to another. The width of the gap itself is also very small in order to speed things up. Sometimes we need to react to things so quickly we don't have time for our brains to process the information and make a decision on how to react. This is where we use what are called reflexes. The reflex arc is composed of only three neurons, meaning the time taken is very small, as there are only two synapses that the message comes across. The advantage of these reflex arcs that your reaction speed is very fast, allowing you to avoid danger. This advantage is that because they're automatic, you'll react in the same way every time. This type of reaction is an example of innate rather than learned behaviour. We have seen how the central nervous system is composed of the brain and the spinal cord, which is then connected to sense organs and effectors by nerves. The neurons are individual nerve cells. They're adapted to carry messages a long way very quickly by having long axons, many dendrites to connect to other neurons, and a myelin sheath around the axon that insulates it and increases the speed of the impulse. Synapses are the gaps between neurons, where the electrical message is converted into a chemical message, whereby a neurotransmitter is released to diffuse across the gap. Reflexes are nerve pathways that do not involve the brain. This increases reaction speed.